Hi everyone and welcome back to English with Malik. Well, uh, today I have come back again with a very important uh, lesson again for you. Uh, it is especially for those learners who want to very quickly uh, learn how to make conversations in English. So I have chosen uh, some <clears throat> very essential phrases that are uh, <coughs> used by native speakers and they are very common and they can help you uh, start a conversation, be part of a conversation, you know, talk to in English actually. The, the basic purpose is to talk to somebody in English. Well, here we are with them. Uh, the very first is, how is it going? Uh, you know, it's one of, it's, it's another way of saying like, how are you? Uh, so rather than saying, how are you? You can ask somebody, how, how is it going? And the other person might say, well, everything's okay. I'm fine or I'm at the top of the world, that could be the answer. Then what's up? What's up is a very common expression. You know, children use it a lot. So uh, whenever something is going on, whenever I want to ask about how you are doing, what is going on in your life, I say, what's up? You know, they, they also say like this, what's up, rather than what's up. What do you do? That is actually about asking about your profession. Okay, uh, do not confuse it with another expression, which is, how do you do? Okay, how do you do is like a very formal way of greeting somebody. Okay, when you are meeting somebody for the first time, you might say, how do you do? But this, what do you do is like, what is your profession? Are you a doctor, engineer, businessman, a student, or a shop owner, driver? What, whatever. What do you think about? Okay, this is a way of uh, asking somebody about their opinion. So we say, well, what do you think about the relationship <clears throat> between China and Japan? Uh, what do you think about uh, the prices of, uh, you know, uh, grocery which is going up? How did you get into that is uh, one way of asking somebody like how they uh, got into a certain situation or maybe uh, you can ask somebody how did you get into this mess okay you made a mistake you're into uh, some trouble and somebody asks you how did you get into this mess check this out again a very 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 familiar and very common expression check this out i want to show you something I want uh, your opinion about something, then I'm saying, check this out. For example, I have a book with you, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm watching uh, a video, a lesson for example, I'm reading a book, okay, uh, I have bought a shirt and I ask you, check this out, like I want you to give me your opinion about it. That sounds good. That is a reply to somebody asking for something. Maybe somebody is asking you for a suggestion. So uh, they say that, okay, well, uh, let's have a party on the weekend. And you say, that sounds good. Or somebody says, let's go for a walk. And you say, that sounds good. That works for me. This is another way of saying yes for something. Again, if somebody says, well, uh, let's have a cup of tea. And then you say, that works for me. Okay. Or uh, somebody says that, well, uh, let's go for a movie. And then you say, that works for me. Then we have, it was nice chatting with you. You have talked to somebody for a longer time. You have discussed about this and that, maybe about something important, something casual, something ordinary, everyday life, you know, stuff. And at the end of it, you say, it was nice chatting with you, which is, chatting is like talking. So it was nice talking with you. Uh, talking to you rather than we say it was nice chatting with you. Okay, the next is have a good one or have a good day. Normally we say have a good one. Suppose uh, you are going for the weekend, uh, you are going uh, on a holiday or uh, you are going, uh, it's, the, it's the end of the week. So you say have a good one or have a good day. I'm heading home. Okay, for instance, I have uh, uh, finished my work and uh, then uh, I'm taking my car or my bike 
and then I say, okay, I'm heading home. Maybe I'm tired and I want to go home and have some rest. So I say, I'm heading home. Or I may say, I'm heading home. Do you want to come? If I ask you for a lift, then I might say, I'm heading, I'm heading home. Do you want to come? Then could you say that again, please? I didn't understand you. You said something and I didn't understand. So I can say, could you say that again, please? It's a good way, a formal way of saying somebody, uh, asking somebody to repeat whatever they said. What does desh mean? So you say, for example, what does stupendous mean? You are asking the meaning of a word. You say, what does archaic mean? Uh, what does acrid mean? Okay, so you ask the meaning of a certain word. How do you spell that? Somebody said something, and then uh, you ask uh, for the spelling. For example, somebody said, shikinari. Okay, it's a difficult word. So you say, how do you spell that? How do you spell that? Okay, could you give me a hand? I'm in trouble. I need some help. Maybe I'm carrying something. I have two bags with me, and it is difficult for me to, you know, uh, uh, take them. And then I say, could you give me a hand? Or I'm stuck somewhere. I'm doing an exercise and I can't understand what does it uh, what does it say and I ask you could you give me a hand by give me a hand here mean help me out okay please help me in that. I was wondering if this is a very polite way a very good way of saying I was wondering if you could come with me I was wondering if you could repeat that I was wondering if you could say that again please so it's a very polite way of saying, asking somebody to do something. Do you mind if I, do you mind if I take your pen? Do you mind if I uh, ask you a question? Again, it's a good way, a formal way of asking somebody for something. I really appreciate it. Uh, somebody has helped you. Somebody has been kind to you. Uh, somebody did you a favor. So you say, I really appreciate it. Okay, the next is, excuse me. This is probably the most common expression. It is used in a variety of situations. You want somebody's attention, you say, excuse me, okay? And uh, you didn't like something. And you say, excuse me, okay? Uh, you may be uh, wondering what, what is coming next and then you don't know what to do. Then you ask somebody for attention. Then you say, excuse me. Uh, and then you move on. I'll let you know. Okay, if somebody has asked you to do something and you say, I'll let you know. Suppose if somebody said, uh, uh, do you want to come for the party on the weekend? And you say, I'll let you know. Or if somebody says that, uh, uh, do you want to go out with me for a cup of tea after the meeting? And you say, I'll let you know. It's like, you are putting it off. You are not sure, certain about that thing. That's really nice of you. Somebody has done something for you, uh, a favor, for example. Uh, somebody has helped you uh, out in a situation and you said, that's really nice of you. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, a person has announced something which is troubling, uh, a tragic you know, news maybe. Uh, an accident happened, for, for example, or somebody lost something, and then you say, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll get back to you soon. Okay, like I say, you know, in most of my videos, I say, I'll get back to you soon, mean, I'll come back to you, I'll bring another video, I'll be with you uh, very shortly, you know, instantly. I'll call you back, okay? Now, this could be uh, when you are not certain about something and you want to take some time. Uh, somebody has asked you for something and then you say, I'll call you back and then I'll let you know. That's weird, okay? For instance, uh, you heard that uh, uh, Sam has uh, fallen off his uh, motorbike and you say, that's weird because he's a very good rider. Or uh, you say that... Uh, uh, for instance, uh, uh, Anna has failed in the exam, and then you say, that's weird, because generally she passes and she's a very good student. Okay, uh, this is it. We've uh, covered like uh, 25 essential English phrases, and I hope these phrases 
will help you have a good conversation, uh, be part of a conversation with people when you are talking to. Do practice them, do use them in your everyday, you know, language. Make them part of your English language and they'll really help you. This is it uh, for, from me today. Um, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you again with a new video lesson. Until then, bye.